Come talk to us, buddy. Come on. Come on, baby. I got, I got something else to say here. And this is directly uh, pointed to all the media that's here today that came out here. It's really disgusting that you guys will show all these pictures. I'm glad you showed the pictures of Andy No being assaulted and the things that happened with him. But there were two other patriots that were severely beat, severely injured. And I, I didn't see one picture of that in the paper. I didn't see one, one video of that on the news because you guys don't want to show the true violence that Antifa perpetrates against people in the streets. And those two gentlemen were severely injured and very bloody and nothing not one picture in the Oregonian of their heads or their faces, and those pictures can be easily found anywhere. Those videos can be easily found anywhere. Nothing was shown of that. Those two men were almost killed by Antifa. One of them took 30 staples to his head to close the wound. One of them was a veteran that was beat over the head while trying to, while trying to defend a, a trans person. But that story never gets out. The only story that gets out is, is about how the you know, Wait, speak about how that guy tried to defend a trans person and they beat him. Yeah, they yeah. Water, so the the, the gentle, the, the 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 veteran gentleman, the older gentleman that you John. guys all have seen the pictures of, John, was trying to defend a trans patriot person. I'm not Sam Resnick. Sam, Sam Resnick, Resnick, actually, he was trying to defend him, and that's when the entire scuffle started, and that's how it all started. Now, there's been some videos out there and, and pictures showing, you know, the Patriots wielding weapons. Antifa put those out there, but that's when they were defending themselves after Antifa attacked. After Antifa was allowed by the Portland Police Department to take over Pioneer Square, the Patriots were forced out of Pioneer Square by the Portland Police, and then Antifa was allowed to take over and, and roam about and do what they pleased, and that's when the assaults happened. And then violence so was something would have had been done before that. I saw three injured Portland police officers that were injured by Antifa, and nothing was done to Antifa. Nothing. They stood there. They stood there and did nothing. They yeah. sprayed a little mace on Antifa at the very beginning. Not one arrest was made, and they know who did the violence. <laughs> Portland police isn't stupid. And then you got Willamette Week out there, and Kate Shepard, the Antifa bootlicker, <laughs> right in that <laughs> trash in their paper, doing doing stories on that there was no concrete inside of the, the milkshakes. You know what? They've thrown feces, they've thrown urine, yeah. they've thrown acid on us. What makes you think they wouldn't put a little bit of concrete inside of a milkshake? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on, use common sense. Those people are animals. They're out to hurt people. And not only that, anybody knows anything about concrete. You can get concrete without gravel and aggregate in it. Their little experiment they did, they used concrete, yeah. quick creek right off the shelf. Yeah. You can get this Portland cement by itself that comes in a very fine powder form. And it looks a whole lot different than when you add sand and gravel to concrete. So, so their entire thing was bullshit. Not only that, you know what? The Patriots aren't stupid. We have people behind enemy lines and they see what goes on. They see what goes on, and we see what Antifa's little tricks are, and we know that there were other items. Sure, there was milkshakes they had that they were drinking and, and handing out, but there were other ones, and there were other things that they had to throw on people that were meant to injure them. And for, for the Oregon Justice Resource Center to, and Pop Mob to try to go after the Portland police for putting out that Bolton, the Portland police put that out because it was the truth. And yeah. now they're coming after him, trying to get him to try to retract the statement. I'm sure Ted Wheeler and will make them retract the it. statement. And he laughed about he the laughed milkshake. About it. He On laughed press. about it. He laughed about it. He, he chuckles about it like it's funny. Shame yeah. On Shame on you, Ted. It's not funny when you get Shame unknown substances you. thrown on you. Shame on you, Ted. Shame on you. 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 You got your signs, Ted. You got your police protecting you. It's absolutely ridiculous. The media should be absolutely ashamed of themselves for the way that they have covered these events and what has happened. Always labeling us as right-wing extremists or white nationalists. We're patriots that love this country and love the city, and we're tired of seeing the bullshit that's going on with Antifa, thinking that they can run it and do whatever they want to do. Amen. You know, you see a, you've seen a big you've seen a big decline in businesses downtown being beat up and the windows being broken out because those same people that were doing that 10 years ago have switched over and started attacking patriots that's what they do so they don't have time to break out the windows of the businesses it's been going on for 20 30 years in this city and it needs to stop they need to be put down there needs to be a federal investigation and it needs to stop yeah it's ridiculous the media will not cover these things like it should be and we'll probably never get the media on our side we'll probably never get 50 percent of the people on our side but you know what the 50 percent that matters will be on our side and we will win yeah yeah hell yeah, hell yeah. very good very good
Whoa. I just wanna I just wanna give a quick shout out to Andy No and the two Patriots that got uh, viciously attacked on that day. You know, they they paid a heavy price, but they also fell on the sword for their country because it woke a lot of people up. You know, there's even people on CNN condemning the violence. We want uh, we want the mayor of Portland to condemn the violence of Antifa, and that's really not asking much. You know, they step out of line, and they really, really, really stepped out of line that time. So I want to give a shout out to Andy No and the two patriots that fell on the sword for their country. They got they got it really bad, but um, it's also done a lot of good because it's woken a lot of people up. So yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Figure out what these people have done to you. I got beat up on before. You can speak too. Oh, great. <laughs> so, in case anyone here doesn't know how this all started, back in, what was it, 2016, 2017, uh, a guy got punched by Antifa. And then, what was it, a few months later, someone got hit with a bike lock. And then it turned to doxing, intimidating, harassing, and then we got to assaulting, and everyone still turned a blind eye. The media, the people of this city, and our politicians still turned a blind eye when people were getting beaten in the streets, when they were redirecting traffic. Everybody remember that in October of last yeah. year? Yeah. yeah. So, and then what we've gotten to is just um, last month, they tried to kill a couple of our citizens in the city of Portland. A couple of your citizens, Ted, were beaten, and you didn't even condemn it. It's happened to me too. I got my or I got my start with the Antifa movement in August of last year. I uh, I participated in some anti-fascist action in Black Bloc. Uh, I was at August Fourth. I was at him too, and I did a couple of other local little uh, little things. Anyways, but uh, in December though, I finally met Haley and I finally met the crew here. And you know what? That was the best damn moment of my life, I think, because I was actually in a really dark place at the time. But you know what? I actually they helped me. And then do you know what happened? Antifa doxed me. I took a picture with Haley, and they doxed me. <laughs> Why would they dox me? Yeah, so they doxed me, and uh, what was it, uh, for saying, and then I said they were wrong. You know, I was like, you know what, that was pretty wrong, and also what you guys are doing to them. They told me that everyone here were neo-Nazis. Turns out that's not true either, okay? And then we get to this point, okay? where a month later, I, uh, I had some discourse with Antifa. I walked away, and three of them followed me and beat me when I was on my own in the street. They, they uh, called me class traitor, they bear maced me, and they beat me in the park uh, over, oh God, what was that park? Anyways, January 20th, yeah. January 20th, yeah, they attacked me. They beat me, and they, they, they laughed about it online too, you know? And I'm a trans person, you know what's funny? Is that uh, they are supposed to represent that. They didn't. They didn't at all, you know? Cool and since then, what I've seen is that it's escalated even further. And everyone, well, they were still turning a blind eye up until June 29th. That's when the people of this, not only this city, but of the country woke up. Not only that, but they've also woken up to how you run this city, Ted. This is on you. Because I said to your face, I said to your face, Antifa, no one had done that yet. I said, condemn Antifa and roast the Antifa, and you told me I was out of line. Is this really what you do to the citizens of your city? Is this really how you run this? What kind of leader are you? If a leader can't lead, they should get out of the way and step down and let someone who can fix this city lead. Yeah. If you feel like it's not within your right either to lead and try and fix the pro like. You literally have domestic terrorists running around the city that you're supposed to be leading, and you're not doing a goddamn thing. That's wrong. And sexual it, assaulting. Exactly. Antifa has silenced, intimidated, harassed, doxxed, assaulted, sexually assaulted, and even attempted to kill anyone who disagrees with them. Not only anyone who attempts to disagree with them, but the citizens of this city who aren't even involved. And it's not only in Portland, it's in Seattle, it was in Berkeley, it's in Texas, it's in New York. It's a problem that is spreading. And the longer that we let it grow, the more, that, the more it's going to escalate. Because it already has, from punching to where we're at now. Where they're attempting to kill us in mass in Portland. Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, yeah in Tacoma, Washington. That was finally... It's disgusting how seriously after this you still will not condemn Antifa. You know, I went to Tacoma to go and look at the scene afterwards. There's charred remains of the car there. You can still see where he was shot. 
Okay, and you want to sit there and say that's not wrong. His death is on you for refusing to condemn them. As a leader of this city, it's on you to fix this. Because we don't want that to spread here. to Portland. If we, if we don't do something now, if you don't do something now, Ted Wheeler, it's on you when the domestic terrorists come here and yeah, start right. blowing things up. Fix your damn city and get back in line because you're the most pathetic leader I've seen since Neville Chamberlain. <laughs> It didn't have to be this way. It could have just spoke to us. And lastly, I'll let you get back, but did I hear something about uh, Haley saying that he was going to say that to the mayor? Is that a joke, or are you actually pursuing I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I, I'm just thinking about it, and my parents keep trying to encourage me to go, you know, go do this. But uh, with a city like this and how it's so, um, so leftist, I don't know if I'd ever even get this. Like, so it's just, but I want to keep fighting. I want to keep fighting for everyone. Thank you so much, Haley. Have the rest of your day. Hopefully, uh, everything goes as planned. So. Oh, I get so nervous. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> no, you did great. You did good. <laughs> this with Ted Wheeler not addressing the real problems right now, and he kind of just laughs it off, laughs it off, shrugs it off, and has said to the other people as well. I have asked to have meetings with him. I've signed up to speak to him. He will not speak to me, and many others have in my group too. So what so, are the, what are the problems with? Why are we out here today, I guess? Today we are out here because we want Ted Wheeler to address the actual crimes that are happening in Portland from Antifa, a domestic terrorist organization, as everyone saw. Annie No and a few other men were brutally beaten. My friend Adam Kelly was almost completely killed, almost killed. He has stitches all around his head. He's still, I think he's still recovering from it. And I just, I want him to speak about this. This is, this, he just... He, he turns the other cheek, he blames a group of, a group of called Proud Boys, or he goes after Patriot Prayer, Joey, for any of this, and it's just like, Patriot, Patriot Prayer wasn't even in Oregon that day. The Proud Boys had a peaceful event on Waterfront, and our group was stuck in uh, Pioneer Square, and they and the cops let them come in and take over our small, it wasn't a big group of us, we were pretty peaceful. Come in, take over our spot, and that's when our men were really attacked. So is this kind of a reaction to then the most recent protests that we've had? Yeah, but we're gonna keep. It just it, right now. It seems like even with Ted Cruz wanting an investigation with him, I think we need to keep putting pressure on our mayor. And until he speaks to us and actually addresses the problems, especially with Antifa, and for him not to even say Antifa's name should be appalling and really like. Should open people's eyes to like there's something else going on within the city and he or in him and this terrorist organization and i hope that i just hope everyone just opens their eyes with what's going on right now my group portland's liberation do not want uh wish any harm on anyone we are so accepting of everyone i have gone to dsa meetings and even got jumped by people and it's just like we're doing our best right now to spread the word and it just seems like the mayor is doing everything he can to ignore the real problems with, you know, in the city. Homeless, he works with, uh, or he's friends with uh, pedophiles, Terry Bean, and I just saw, uh, and Micah Rose, so I, I'm just out here to spread the good word. Gotcha. And I guess I have one question specifically is, uh, with regards to the last protest, right? Uh, the mayor had talked about, or I think it was the police chief who talked about, like the they got a mass coordinate yes. or whatnot. What, is we, that something? What do you think of that? I think that we should. De if, if there is a no mass at the protest, I'm telling you, there will be no violence. There will be no violence. If there is no mass, there will be no violence. Um, and this is what I kind of took from Patriot Prayer when he went out into Berkeley. He took their, when, when he went out there, they brutally beat him. They did a no mass law out there in Berkeley. So, and now you never see violence. I never see violence in Berkeley, California. So we need to do that out here. Gotcha. Uh, and, and kind of following up on that, um, the mayor has also talked about how like, he doesn't want people coming in from like, out of state to cause violence in his city. Is that, what, what do you make of that? Is that what's happening here? I think, right, I think right now with what you're seeing is there's just a ton, everyone's allowed here. We're a sanctuary city. And we open our homes to everyone, to uh, immigrants. Everyone's welcome here. And I think that everyone that is a patriot, that loves our, uh, loves America, that should all be out here. No one should be discriminated against. 
um, especially in my city, Portland, because we're welcoming to all. I think we all can, like we all know that this is the most welcoming city. But it seems like if you oppose a different view from the from the left, you get attacked. So right now, what you're seeing, especially when August 17th happens, you're seeing a bunch of people that are just done with watching my people and others around us getting brutally beaten and no one's going to wish harm on them, no one wants to hurt them, but Ted Willer, he needs to understand that it's not just people in Oregon that are really, um, that are, uh, that are uh, angered right now by uh, the way that he's treating our city. It's many people from the outside, and I think that we should always help people from the outside to other states if they're going through something like this, because I believe it's a crisis. Do you want to ask her? No, I'm good. Anything else you want to say? Um, no. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good to meet you.